Hello, you all. So, we back to this mug again. This is not the same mug, but it is the same mug. As y'all can see, this mug has chips on it, only because it's been places. But it doesn't matter, because we're just using this as a practice mug. So, with that said, let me get y'all somewhere where y'all can see everything. But that's it. We're going to get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure the mug size. So we can measure from handle to handle, which is 10 inches. And we can also measure from the top of the cup to the bottom, which I don't want to do the four and a half. I would rather do four or three and a half, maybe three and a half. So 10 by 3.5. So now. Okay, so now. What I'm going to do is take a picture that I have already and I'm going to paste it. I want to make this home. I want to make the page landscape so that I can um, get the picture size. Or, you know what, we can also do this in Cricut Design Space. But I wanted to do it without having to use Cricut. Because everybody don't have Cricut. Sorry. So, I wanted to do it without having it. So, let me do this. I'm going to word first. I'm going to open up Microsoft Word in that same picture that I just had. I'm going to paste it on Microsoft Word. Let's get it. Let's copy and paste. So, as y'all can see, this picture has a border around it. I know you all may can see that gray. So what I'm going to do is remove that gray border from around this picture by clicking on it, format, and remove background, which is over there on the side. And as you all can see, that it turned all the background purple, which is removing the background. So now, when I copy the picture, let me see. So that'll be the background. Remove background. And then we're going to keep, keep changes. So we're going to copy the picture. And now I get to paste it mm -mm, into Publisher. So as y'all can see, with this one, it's like a little background. And this one has a transparent I don't know if y'all can really see that good, but this one has like a white background at the back. This one is transparent. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I can. So, I'm going to delete this one. Another thing that I wanted it to do is... So I'm going to go to Publisher. Now this is a little bit harder only because, as y'all can see, this picture is in a box, which I didn't want. But it's okay. It just makes the picture look bigger than what it should be when it's in the box. Put 
it's okay. We're just gonna work with what we got. So it's saying that the picture is 9 by 11, which I'm sure it's not due to it's this space between the line and this space between the line and the picture as well. So that's a way that you can know that it's not the size that it's saying. But we can do it like that. And then it's saying that it is 12, but it's not because of all of that space. However, I'm going to leave it. I think it can stay at the size that it, that it is. I'm okay with that. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to print this. I'm going to print it. And once it print, I'll be back. All right, you all. So my photo has printed. I really didn't get the size it the way that I wanted to because I didn't really just feel like playing with the um, design. But um, I'm gonna show you all the paper that I used. So I'm using this Jolie's paper and I am using for light fabric. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. This is my first time doing it. I'm just trying to find a easy, simple, inconvenient way of pressing on a mug. But like I said, I don't know if it's going to work. We're just trying it. So as you can see with this paper, it's going to have a white line on the back. I'm just going to take this photo. Take one side. I just want to make sure that it's done to the top. And then I'm going to wrap it around. I'm trying to get as much as the design as possible on the cup to the outside. Because like I said or I stated before, I didn't do any uh, particular measurements. Even though I know the size of the mug. I was just going with what I had, so. And I was trying to make it where you don't have to pay for extra stuff or extra crafts and things like that. Trying to make it convenient. So, let's see. So we got to tape this side down. Wrapping it. This is not sublimation, so you do not have to set it as high as it is. Unfortunately, it was already set. Leave it right there because I'm about to try to do something else too, so I don't really want to move it. But it does not have to be set as high as I just had it at all for no reason. I want to make sure that this paper is on there as tight as possible. So I did do one tape. I don't think it really matter what tape I use. So because this piece is not going to get... Um, This piece won't be printed on. Okay, y'all, so here we go. Here we go. So the mug is in there. Just gonna 
see. Can y'all see that it's smoking? I'm sorry, y'all. I got stuff in y'all, right? And they don't even have to go as long as I'm letting it go. I was just trying to I want to turn the cup actually this way as well. Because I want to make sure that I get the most of what I can. I can't turn it that way, y'all. So let's go this way. I'm trying to make sure I get the sides. Then we're gonna do this side. It's stuck. I should have had a, like a um thing to rub it, rub it in, rub it on. But I'm not gonna worry about it. So let me let y'all see. that y'all could see with that lighting I know y'all can see the color faded through so let's just go ahead and try to get it off yeah I don't know that paper could work a little sticky. I will probably reseal it again. It's hot. I can't even get y'all to full view. But this is the um, shirt paper that you would use. And this is the light fabric kind. Um, it actually looks good. It just, I don't, maybe because I was moving it around. Y'all comment down below and tell me what y'all think. Get y'all off of her first. Let me let y'all see this good. figure this out but I don't know or maybe I had the heat up too high what y'all think we're gonna keep trying it I'm gonna let it um sit to rest and then I'm gonna touch on it but right now it's still kind of hot so y'all tell me what y'all think below in the comments comment down below and subscribe to the channel thank you all and bye till next time okay y'all so the mug is dried this part came out pretty good it's not sticky anymore now that it's dried and i literally did not do anything to this mug i am going to run it under some water you can always scrape it off with your fingers. That's why you would want to put a coat over it. But I'm going to keep working to get this right. Maybe I had the heat up too high too because I had it on sublimation heat. I think maybe you can put it on a regular temperature. Which is... This is an urn on so I don't even think it needs to be that high at all. You can maybe put the temperature on 250 200 250 to press but i'm gonna run this under some water real quick but actually i don't have to because like i said you will probably want to seal it with some epoxy or 
some type of sealants that will not but that's that's pretty lovely y'all even though there's some flaws especially with this side because this side didn't really get the heat well either because of it being in here this side didn't get the heat too well so What if I would have did it with an iron? Okay, whatever. 